this is how to remove the thermostat housing for the Zafira 1.8 now <clears throat> this Zafira already had the antifreeze removed so no antifreeze will leak but that's just for me on your side keep in mind that when you taking out the thermostat housing some antifreeze is going to leak so be prepared on the bottom for antifreeze leak okay now there is two bolts one is right here and it's a E12 um, socket and I will have it with the adapter going through the bonnet you can have a little socket here and just rush it out from there maybe because I don't have an air duct on the front I'll use my uh, impact gun because it's quicker and we're not going to lose time on the video okay Okay, two, one long bolt, I think it's one short one, the long one is on the top, you can see it here. Okay, and now, a bolt that we can't see, but it's underneath, so if we go underneath it, I think we're going to be able to, to grab it. I don't think that even from the side you can see it, you can take the pipe and see it, but it's a lot easier to take the pipe out when you... I really can't see it. Let's touch it. Or maybe we can see it from the side. Let's see. So it's uh, easier to... I don't know if you can... No? Let's take the phone and just see up close. Can you see where is it? Here? So, uh, what I was saying? Oh, yeah, it's a lot easier to take the pipes out and the sensors when you already have it removed. So, now again. I'll try with my gun just to be quicker. I don't know if it's gonna be possible, but I'll definitely try it. Yeah, it is possible. So this this bolt is shorter than it's on the ground somewhere. There we'll find it also now. See shorter. And now we can just grab it and pull it and pull it back. With the hot thing doesn't move that much, it's gonna be a lot easier. Now what you can do is take some pliers, take them now. Only if I knew where they are, where they are. Because you need to remove the whole thing. Yeah? So take the pliers. How you gonna remove this bracket? Depends on your personal preference. I use these pliers and I like using them okay. ok 
can use some penetrating fluid. Take a pick, especially if the pipe is being a long time. There we go. So we got this this one removed. Then you need to pinch this one and push in. There we go. Taking it out. And then this small one. Try to not bend it like I do. And uh, be over the all over the place. Where is my this? There we go. I think that's gonna be enough, but are we gonna be able to take it out? I don't know. Now you can't replace just this part, at least I didn't find a or maybe you can, yeah. You can just press it out, twist it and replace it, but usually they sell it with the with the whole thing. And you can just buy it. And there we go. That's the housing removed. Hope this video has been. Oh no, when you put it in, the grease, this area over there, very nicely. Put a new thing on because you don't want any leaks, and this one is long time gone. That is for that video. Hope it's been helpful. Bye bye.